All right, everybody. Good morning to you all, travel bosses. What's going on? What is happening around the world? Entrepreneurs, what's going down? It's Thursday, and I didn't even know it was Thursday today. That's how crazy I am, man. I just got back from, uh, I know, uh, we got a couple of speakers today, and they just got back from uh, Mexico as well. I got back to uh, from Mexico Monday night, and I actually thought today was Wednesday. And when my wife reminded me that we have date night tonight, I'm like, but date night's Thursday night, right? Um, and she goes, it is Thursday. I go, holy beep. I go, holy shizen hazen, right? I go, what is going on? Good morning, Ellen from Nevada. Guys, you guys are coming in live, hashtag live. We are live on my YouTube channel. We are live in the Child Boss Lifestyle Secrets Group. We are live on my fan page on Facebook, and we're also live in a brand new Facebook group that is linked to a, a young stud of a gun, Mr. Jeffrey Hill. His group is called, let me get the name up because I've, uh, I've just been added to it. Leaders are always great readers. Love it, Jeff. So if you guys are watching in live from that group, welcome to today's live stream. Uh, my name is Nick Kitsay, guys. This is our 21st. So you got 21st birthday going on today, right? It's our 21st uh, Travels Lifestyle Secrets Virtual Coffee. And we have some amazing speakers today, guys. Uh, we're going to be speaking about uh, a whole bunch of things on the topics of wealth and mindset, business ownership, and having multiple streams of income. This is like a part two to our previous virtual coffee. It was on, uh, I believe it was number eight. 18 or 19 uh, of the virtual coffees that we did. I have these two young gentlemen on with me on virtual coffee. We talked about wealth, cryptocurrencies, and multiple streams of income. Today, uh, we're just flipping it a little bit. We're going to be uh, offering some goodies uh, throughout today's live stream. We're going to give away some freebies as well. So stay tuned with us. Uh, engage with us, guys. We want to know, you know uh, how we can help you at the best of our ability. I have a wealth master coming on today. I have a business guru coming in. Uh, and I'm going to be talking to you about other bits and pieces that are going to help you put more money in those bank accounts of yours, okay? So as we're waiting to get uh, a little bit more people on live with us, if you guys are, again, coming in live with us, hashtag live for us and tell us where you're coming in from. If you guys are watching this as a replay, tell me where you're coming in from, uh, hashtag replay as well. I've got my pretty cool coffee mug here today guys i was uh just in uh tulum i'm not sure you can see the actual lighting there in tulum mexico okay and it's a skull if you can see it maybe i'm gonna get closer it looks pretty scary all right but i got a skull a skull coffee mug this thing was like 25 us dollars uh well i think i got it for 20 bucks i bought it down but uh this thing is a beast man they handcrafted this thing and they sculpted out the skull face. Uh, I don't really know much about, uh, like, I know there's like a, a death independence day sort of thing go, that goes on in Mexico. Maybe some of you guys know about it, where they celebrate death and they dress up as skeletons and stuff like that. Well, I know that's uh, a part of uh, this skull coffee mug here. And I just said I had to get one because it looks really cool. My wife is Mexican. She's Latina. Watch out for those Latinas. And uh, I said, I got to get one. And I was willing to pay the money because I know uh, they are hardworking people down there and they definitely deserve the money. So uh, I got one of the mugs. I got my cup of coffee. So if you haven't got your mug or your cuppa as of yet, go get it, guys. Go put the kettle on. Uh, go get a cup of coffee somehow. Get a cup of tea, whatever you like to drink. Stay tuned with us. And what I would suggest, guys, is take notes today. Take notes. Get into it. Go all in for the next hour with us. Go all in and give yourself the respect that you're going to learn something today, that you're going to take some knowledge away that you can apply to your online business, to your entrepreneurship, to your life in general, uh, so that you can come out a better person after today's virtual coffee. All right, so good morning, Alan. And Alan said, did you lose track of time? You know what, Alan? You know, I did lose track of time and the freaking day as well, bro. And we just had some issues with the stream yard, so we had to fix that up. So we are live now. Live with Michaela. Good morning, Christine. Live with Liz. Gainesville, Florida. Jaya. 
Uh, fantastic. Congrats and welcome, guys. Let me quickly just check out. Um, I only can see the comments here, I believe, in the trial boss group. We will see where everyone else is at. Rock on, we got a private chat going on. The day, oh, the day of the dead. Daya de la Muratos. I don't know if I pronounced that right, Jeff, but the day of the dead is what they celebrate in Mexico. So, uh, and that's why I got this mug. So that's pretty cool, right? So as we get into things, guys, I'm going to get this into things. All right. So we have wealth mindset when it comes to wealth and, uh, special speaker, Mr. Jeffrey Hill is going to be speaking uh, particularly about wealth and mindset today and some strategies that you guys can implement into your everyday life. All right. We have another special speaker under the name of Caleb Alt. You guys have met him before. He is uh, a he's a millionaire. This guy's a beast in the kitchen, right? He's going to be talking to you about business ownership and being in business for yourself and why you need to be in business for yourself. Definitely, definitely in a time like this, right? What's going on around the world? The pandemic, things are going to happen. A recession, an economy reset, an economy shift. You know, we're talking about. We're talking about physical cash, and I know in like two to five years or less, there's going to be no more physical cash. We're going digital, baby. We're going crypto. You know, I know you, you saw that on the last live stream I did with Jeffrey and Caleb. And then I'm going to touch base on multiple streams of income, multiple streams of income, how you can start having multiple streams of income today, how you can plug into the ecosystem of residual income streams today. If you want to, right? I'm also uh, going to just share a little bit of knowledge on this book. This book is on uh, dot com, dot com secrets. I'm reading it for the second time. The link is in the description here, guys, where you can get the the book for free. You just got to cover the cost of the shipping, so it's a free book. But if you're just starting off in building your own online empire, your own online business. Maybe you're a professional already. Maybe you are making great money already. Maybe you're in the middle of things. I just suggest you go get this book, guys. Dotcom Secrets, the underground playbook to growing your company, growing your business online. This is such a sweet book. You're going to get a whole bunch of value, concepts, strategies, and how to really use something called funnels. Uh, that I've already spoken about uh, in the past on previous live streams. There is also a link to get a free trial to uh, our funnel platform. If you go to trialbossseekers.com slash start winning online, you can go there and get uh, and get the funnel platform as well. But go get this book, guys. I think it's like $7 for shipping. It'll go straight to your door in the next week. Start reading this book. This is a freaking awesome book. And I'm going to touch base a little bit about that um, a little bit later as well. And how I make money with the book as well, which is cool. It's not even my own book, right? So we're going to jump into things. So cool. Rock and roll. Great book, Christine. Yeah. I was referring to you. Know, oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Um, thanks, mate. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm going to bring on our first speaker. Our first speaker, again, if you guys know Jeffrey Hill, he is a fanatic. He is an insanely intelligent, genuine, real freaking person that just knows wealth and finances like you know if you know people say on the back of their hand but i mean like on the back of his butt on his butt cheek like he, yeah he knows his back to front like it's written on his butt cheek but he can never see his butt cheek that's how well he knows this stuff guys he's laughing in the background right now i know you might be laughing too i'm not saying to look at jeff's butt i'm not saying that but what i am saying he knows his information he knows his knowledge about finances wealth strategies to you know make you wealthy and not like not like you get stuck in the rat race with a 401k uh, i know he's going to be talking about the 401k he's going to be talking about you know being recession proof he's going to be talking about what to do while being in a pandemic and how you can be really prepared he's going to mention you know things like infinite banking and if you don't you have no idea about the infinite banking concept he's going to share uh, he's going to share how you can get started with Infinite Banking Concert today. He's going to actually add so much value. He's going to offer uh, a little secret course, a little secret uh, blueprint at the end uh, of his, his talk today where you guys can plug in with Jeff and you can get started with Jeff on your wealth journey. So I'm going to bring him on. 
Guys, take your notes. Get notes. Get a pen. Get a highlighter. Okay, and write it down. Write it down, guys, because I promise you, you're going to forget about this. And I know you probably won't want to watch this again and again and again unless you really want to, and you're more than welcome to. Okay, but if you write notes, then you've taken you've taken action and you are present. I want you to be present right now. And so, if you guys are excited about seeing Jeffrey hashtag wealth with Jeff in the comments. If you guys are coming from YouTube, Facebook groups, or the fan page, tell me right now, hashtag wealth with Jeff. If you're excited to see Jeff, he's about to bring the thunder from down under. He's not from Australia, he's from Arkansas, Little Rock, but you get me, right? He's going to bring the thunder in the financial world. So guys, bring in, uh, bring him on right now. Let's go, let's get it. Mr. Jeffrey Hill. Oh, Whoa. Whoa. what's going on, Jeff? I am here. I wait, 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 wait. First order of business. Let me make sure I do this the right way. Got my coffee. Oh, yes, sir. Let me take yes, a sir. step. Let me do this the right way. All right, awesome. Well, guys, uh, thank you, Nick, for the intro, man. It is my absolute pleasure to come in and uh, and share with you guys my passion. Okay, and I have a huge passion for for finance. Uh, like many of you, I came from very humble beginnings. Nick, I don't know what happened. I don't know if you can still see me or hear me, but I cannot see the Streamyard uh, screen anymore. Yeah, I'm still here. I don't know, <laughs> but the show must go on. I came from a background of very humble beginnings, guys. My parents could not teach me a lot about money growing up. They couldn't teach me what they didn't know, right? So I, uh, when I went to college, I got my degree. And like most people, I went into the workforce. And I started doing exactly what we were taught. Go to high school, get good grades, go to college, get good grades, and graduate and get a good job. And that's what I thought life was supposed to be. Now, I'm a pretty loyal person when it comes to uh, a job or, or whatever I'm doing, right? I'm really, I'm really gung ho with it, right? Until you get to the point where I feel like I'm not being valued as an employee, I'm just a number, I gotta leave, right? So that's what happened on my journey. I was in corporate America trying to climb the corporate ladder. I, I quickly realized I didn't own that ladder. And it was something stirring in me that just kept saying, listen, man, go start your own business. But I didn't have a business background. I was mass communication with a double minor in theater and MIS, which is computer programming in college. I did nothing business related. I never took a, taken a statistic class, accounting, any of that, right? So what am I doing thinking about business? Well, I was getting my MBA at the time. And a lot of times people go in the MBA to do consulting or something like that. So I remember sitting there and what really was the straw that broke the camel's back was in 2009, I got my annual review, right? And they said, all right, Jeff, you got 2%, a 2% raise. I was like, 2%? Wait, it was more than that last year. How did I get down to 2%? It was like, well, you know, that's that's just the way it is. And I remember sitting back in my seat saying, huh, is it really the way it is? Because I'm like, I'm a hard worker and I've been busting. It's like, yeah, you know, you are pretty hard worker. And if you keep working hard, Jeff, maybe, maybe it'll be 3% next year. Maybe it'll get back up there. And I'm thinking maybe so you control how much I make when I go to work, how what kind of vacation time I get, how much time I can take off, all of this. And I just felt like that system was a little flawed, right? It really wasn't for me. Now, as it relates to the 401k, I've always had a distaste for it. I never really understood why. But I just I just remember people kept saying, they just put your money in there, man. You know, just you know, keep saving till it hurts, man. You know, it's okay. It's one of these days, it's, it's, it's gonna be a lot better when you retire. And I'm like, okay, all right. I was following the masses. Warren Buffett says, observe the masses and do the opposite. Okay. So I was following the line, doing exactly what everybody else was doing, and I was getting exactly what everybody else was getting. Maybe two weeks of vacation. And in that particular job, I had blackout dates, meaning there were times where I could not take off typically around the holidays when most people would like to travel. So if my family wanted to take a family vacation, nope, not Jeff Hill. I had to be at work. So um, I jumped into financial services in a recession, which is really important, okay? So I came from a, 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 a background where I was servicing businesses. So I saw firsthand the effects of a recession on both sides. On the corporate side, when them saying, hey, Jeff, don't lose any accounts. Now, we can't afford to take a hit on business. And the business owner saying, Jeff, I can't afford to keep all these services because it's either drop your services or fire my employees. And I don't want to do that to my employees. So I'm kind of in the middle of I got to 
I'm expected to continue to grow business during this time frame, but I also want to service my clients. What do I do, right? And eventually, as we kind of smoothed in through 2009, um, life happened. And I said, you know, I, I really need to get outside of this particular um, business model of corporate America. And I went into financial services. Now, Nick mentioned the infinite banking strategy. I was familiar with this before I ever became an advisor. I didn't even know when I when I when I started financial services, I had the ability to do them. I was driving my truck one day and I remember hearing this radio advertisement. And this lady named Pamela Yellen, Pamela Yellen wrote a book called Bank on Yourself. It was a 75 page ebook. And I remember they said, you can get a free ebook. And I'm like, free book. OK, cool. And I remember reading that book thinking like, wait a minute, why don't everybody do this? This doesn't make sense. This thing has outperformed uh, segments of the market. It's tax free. It's not reportable. It's guaranteed to go every single year. Well, in your life right now, what is somebody guaranteeing you? Ben Franklin said the only thing guaranteed are death and taxes, right? OK, taxes. Yeah, are guaranteed, but you don't have, you don't have to pay them in, in retirement. So I want to phrase a couple of questions for you guys, and these are some of the questions I ask my clients. Number one, do you think taxes are going to be higher in the future? Just yes or no. Do you think taxes are going to be higher in the future? Just yes or no. And if you say mm -hmm. yes, do you think they're going to be a lot higher? Okay. So let's say you think they're going to be a lot higher. My next question is, what's your strategy? Well, no, not even that. Do you want to pay them? Right? If you think taxes are going to be high in the future, do you want to pay them on your retirement income? And if not, what's your strategy to make sure you're not going to get killed on taxes in retirement? What's your strategy? And if you think this way, why haven't you done something about it so far? Right? Now, Again, we're in this in this you know year of 2020, and for the last 10, 11 years or so, we've seen something called a bull run. The market has consistently been going up, right? And it was rallying really, really good. The dangers of that is a lot of young people who were new into the market, they only saw it going up. So despite my better efforts of trying to educate them on what happens when it goes the other way, some people just don't want to listen because they're thinking, well, why would I take money out of something that's, that's making money? Logical way to think, right? But well, in the market, what goes up must come down. Unfortunately, it works in both directions. So when the economy crashes, people are saying, huh, wait a minute. I just lost 10, 20, 30, 40 percent of my 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 uh, my wealth. I just started evaporating just like that. And because you don't know the proper math, which is the new four letter word for retirement, you're going to continue to make the same mistakes. Right. If you're young, can you afford to make a mistake? Maybe. But can you afford to make five mistakes? Couldn't that hurt you substantially? See, most people, when they put money in, they look at, all right, the, what, are, what are my end result projections, right? And they, they don't understand how much money they lost in those dips. So the narrative is, okay, the market just dropped 10%. Oh, they said on TV, it jumped back up 10%. And you think you're back at your same amount of money because minus 10 plus 10, you're back. That, that's not how it works in financial math, okay? When you lose money, it takes way more of a higher percentage to get the money that you lost back. You have to see it on paper sometimes to really understand. So I started diving into the concept of, well, what are the wealthy people doing? Where are they putting their money? Because I noticed there are more millionaires created during, during a recessionary period versus any other time in history. How is that possible? Because I'm thinking in a recession, everything is scarce, right? Money is just going all over the place and... You know, everybody's losing money. No, more millionaires are created during recessionary periods versus any other time in the world or in history. I'm trying to figure out how and why. It's called positioning. They knew something. They learned something from the last time they lost money and said, you know what? Let me put myself in position. Let me maybe get out of debt. So I'm, 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 less, uh, I'm paying less money out to somebody else. And now if you get out of debt faster, you can start to save more money. So that way, when the economy rocks again, maybe I can go into real estate. Maybe now I buy into the stock market at the low point and ride the wave up. Most people, when they invest, they use one tool. They use their 401k and they assume that that one tool is their complete financial universe. That's a micro view of planning because you're trying to invest among things that are safe, aggressive, moderate, right? All in one thing. So it's a lot harder for me to say, hey, Nick. 
I know you just lost 30%, but you need to put some more in there. Because if you saw your $100,000 balance go down to 70, you are not excited about putting more money into it. But think about it. We've been taught conventional wisdom that says you got to buy low, sell high. Buy low, sell high. So even though you lost 30%, it's low now. You should be buying more, but that's not what we're doing because we are too emotionally tied to the negative, rightfully so. But what if there was a way that you never lost any money? What if there a way for you to guarantee with predictability at a worst case scenario how much this money is going to grow by every single year? What if the government couldn't touch it? What if when you finally retire, you can take tax-free income and also don't have to report it? Call invisible wealth, private reserve accounts, 7702 plans, infinite banking. There's a lot of names associated with it, but there's a lot of cool ways for you to set your money aside and you don't have to worry about what's happening in the market. But what it does, guys, is it allows you to have control over your money. You're not worried about the money losing, okay? I teach you how to keep your money safe, liquid, and productive. But if that was the only thing I did, it would still be worth it, right? I always tell people, this is not a perfect plan. I don't have to be perfect. I just got to be a little bit better than what you already have. So if I only stop you from losing money, would that be better? Because the market only does one of three things. It can go up, it can go down, or it can stay flat. If you can remove any one of those arrows of movement, which one would you want to remove? It's not a trick question. It can go up, it can go down, or it can stay the same. Most people are going to say, Jeff, I would like to remove the down. Okay, cool. Can you do that inside your 401k or your IRA? No. So why are you still using that tool? Now, Nick, I want to give you a business proposition. I want you to play this game with me. Okay, you are you ready? Sure. Let's do it, man. I'm good. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I'll take my notes. Take my notes. Okay. Nick, I want to go into business with you. Okay. But here's the deal. I need you to put all your money in up front. I need you to take all the risk. I need you to manage all the day-to-day -day activity. But when you retire, Nick, I'll tell you how much money you owe me. You going into business with me? I got my hand up for you to shake it. Okay, yeah. but maybe you didn't hear me good, Nick. I need you to put all your money in up front. Yep. I need you to take all the risk. I need you to manage the day-to-day -day activity, or you can hire somebody else to do it. But when you retire, Nick, I'll tell you how much money you owe me. Would you go into business with me? No. Why not, Nick? Sounds like a pretty good deal, right? Hell no. I'm doing all the work. So Taking all the you risk. Wouldn't, if you wouldn't take that deal... Why would you sign up for a 401k or an IRA? Because you put all your money in up front. You take all the risk. When you lose money in your 401k, it does not hurt the company. When you lose your money in your individual retirement arrangement, not account, arrangement, because if you go look at the definition, it's arrangement. You are in an arrangement with the IRS, with your government. Okay. You got to manage all the risk. <laughs> you got to take all the risk. You either got to pick the stocks and bonds or put it in, in, in some type of allocation fund or hire somebody else to do it. But tell me this, Nick. Can you tell me what your tax rate is going to be when you retire? I have no idea. I know it's going to be high. Okay. Right. Because, again, earlier, for the people who said they felt like taxes were going to be higher, you don't know where taxes are going to be when you retire. So if taxes happen to go up, that means that's more money to the government, less money to you. You have the choice right now, but you got to make the choice. So it's kind of like you are a farmer and I came to you and said, hey, Nick, do you want to pay taxes on the seed or do you want to pay tax on the harvest? Which one do you want to pay taxes on? This is not a trick question. It's a simple question. You want to pay taxes on the seed or the harvest? Most people say, well, hey, Jeff, I would rather pay tax on the seed because I know what that seed is. That's just one time. The harvest can be big in investing. If you are deferring your tax to you retire, you are saying, I want to pay taxes on the harvest. You don't know how big the harvest is going to be. You don't know how high taxes are going to be. And if you think taxes are going to go lower, I'm going to challenge you on some basic economics. Go to the website, usdebtclock.org. I wish I could do a screen share and show you. usdebtclock.org. One of the first big numbers you're going to see is the U.S. debt. It's about $26 trillion right now. This year alone, we printed about $5 trillion. 
Okay. So we printed a quarter of our U.S. debt and it didn't even fully rebound the market. There's a lot of things that are going on in the market called manipulation. Okay. But you got to understand what's going on. So I just said the government did what? What can they do that we can't do? They can print what, Nick? Print money. Exactly. Now, you and I have found ways to kind of print money, but it's a little different, right? <laughs> and we'll get into those type strategies. Okay, but think yeah. about it. The government can print money. And what happens when they print money? Do you know what their process is called? I don't. It's a supply and demand conversation. It's called inflation. Mm. When you got more money in circulation, that means you can raise your prices because there's more money to pay for the stuff. Mm. When I was a child, I remember my grandparents saying, boy, when I was your age, I bought a candy bar, a bag of chips, and a Coke for a quarter. You cannot buy a stamp for a quarter right now, Nick. No. You can't. Okay. No. So what do you think is going to happen? Are things going to get more expensive or less expensive over time? More. Okay. So the inflation is one of the most insidious taxes ever created. Okay. Because even when you retire, stuff doesn't freeze. The prices of stuff doesn't freeze. Think about, go, go, go to the grocery store and look at a gallon of milk right now. Look at a block of Velveeta cheese. Okay. Look at a pound of ground beef. You should be able to make some Rotel cheese dip for about five bucks. Now, the block, the pound of meat is about five bucks, just the meat. The block of cheese is, I don't know, like close to seven to ten dollars, depending on where you live. So it costs you almost twenty dollars to make a pot of cheese dip right now when it used to cost five. Okay, everything is getting more expensive. So if you don't know how to protect your money, that's a problem. But we're also going to teach you how to keep your money safe, liquid, and productive. But we're also going to teach you how to multiply it. See, infinite banking. It's not just about keeping your money safe. It's about leverage. It's about control. Okay. Because what happens when the government does something crazy? I don't care who's in office. Something can, can happen and the market reacts to it. And all of a sudden in your 401k, your IRA, you lose money. Now we got this safe tool that's been growing predictably every single year. We can say, hey, let's buy into the market at the low point now while it's low. See, I don't have to time the market. I don't have to know when it's going to crash. I just need to have a strategy in place that addresses it when it does. No, Most of you, I doubt any of you outside of Nick has a strategy like this in place because it's something that's not really advertised. Why? The government puts heavy restrictions on us advertising these type of accounts. Now, it's not hidden. It's in the U.S. tax code, just like 401k is in the tax code. 7702 is in there as well. And it talks about the taxation of life insurance. So there's a lot that I want to teach you in this masterclass. I want to spend about four or five days with you guys teaching you and reprogramming your, your mind around what you think about wealth, what you think about taxes, what you think about inflation. Because the moment you start doing this, you start to take back control of your life. Okay. Because with this strategy, we can show you how to get out of all your debt, typically in 10 years or less, including a mortgage. Have you ever heard of the concept called velocity banking? Most of you haven't. So that means you're probably paying debt and your mortgage and stuff inefficiently because you don't know how to make the interest work for you instead of against you. This is the stuff that the wealthy people talk about. Beside me is a wall of books. <laughs> One of the programs that I purchased a long time ago is by a guy named John Kumata, transferring debt into wealth. There's a lot of strategies out there, but if you don't understand this kind of stuff, if you don't understand math, which is the new four-letter word for retirement, you are doomed to fail. But not only that, what we want to teach you guys is how to recession-proof your life. This time around, when 2020 hit, I wasn't really rocked by it. Not saying I'm immune to it, but because I had strategies in place and multiple sources of income, it wasn't as bad for me. I'm having the best year in business because of my mindset and my preparation for a time like this. I don't know when it's going to happen again. I can tell you this. We're not out of it yet because as these Corona cases keep spiking, people are nervous about doing a lot of heavy investments in the market. They're still doing it because they know people know how to make money in the market regardless. But the common folk, the majority of us, we don't know these strategies. Right. So we try to play the big boy game without understanding the big boy mentality. You got to learn how to equip yourself with the right knowledge and having the right mentors that can help help you ebb and flow with anything that's happening in the market. When Caleb talks, he's a bit he's he's built 
a multi-million dollar business. That's a lot of money. That's a couple of commas in there, guys. So don't you think he can teach you a couple of things about business? Okay. Nick has booked a large distributorship in network marketing and an affiliate marketing and online marketing. He knows how to get paid. If you saw some of his posts, his wife made $17,000 in the first month in a new company. $17,000. Most people is going to take them two or three months to make that kind of income, right? I, I had a, a, a month that was well over six figures this year, okay? And I've had some other months that's pretty close. And I'm not saying this stuff to, to brag. I'm telling you guys, we can teach you. There are things that we know that we've learned and we can teach you. Nick told you a book, The Dotcom Secrets. We were laughing and joking about that last night because he and I have the same book. We're reading the same type of material. We didn't know this prior to this conversation, but there are things that we are learning and we're trying to bring that knowledge to you. Now, you can go get the books and read them yourself, which is great, and I encourage you to do that, but you can speed up the process by having a mentor. So what we're trying to do is mentor you guys on wealth building strategies, tax efficient strategies, tax reduction strategies. What do I mean by that? Do you have a home-based business? Do you understand the benefits of having one? Okay, Sandy Boykin, a former CPA and attorney for the IRS says, if you don't have a home-based business, you are brain dead if you don't have one. <laughs> this is somebody who used to work for the IRS as a CPA and an attorney. Chapter one of his book, <laughs> Lower Your Taxes Big Time says, you are brain dead if you don't have a home-based business. That's a pretty bold statement coming from somebody who used to work for the man. Okay, you gotta pay attention to this kind of stuff. We can show you how to start a home-based business with a couple of hundred dollars investments. The amount of money you're going to be able to get back in tax deductions is crazy. My ex-girlfriend, I remember when we did her taxes, first year, she got back about $11,000 in taxes. Wow. And she's used either paying in or getting less than $1,000 back because of all the tax deductions. Okay. This is the same game that everybody's been playing, but we won't, we won't equip ourselves with knowledge enough to play the game. Okay. There's apps out there. There's an app called Hurdle that I personally use. It tracks all my deductions and all my expenses from a business standpoint. I have multiple business. So anytime I spend money, I just click a button and say, this goes to this business. This goes to this business. This income goes here. And when it's time to do my taxes, I can do a report and boom, hand it to my CPA and it's done. It's done. Okay. Make your life a lot easier. We're going to teach you how to automate a lot of stuff that you're doing to free up more time to spend with your loved ones, right? What would you give right now to have more time back to say, you know what? I want to go take a vacation. I want to book a one-way trip. I want to extend that trip because I want to go hang out with some friends because they just flew in. That's what we just got through doing last week, man. And it's crazy when you start to get around the circles who are shaking and moving like that and you move in that same manner. It's a trip when you look back at how you used to think and how you used to operate and it's so far removed from your level of thinking. It, you don't ever want to go back there. You want to work twice as hard to continue to get more assets more income so you can keep doing more of what you want. That's what this is about. This is about control. Do not try to do this stuff by yourself. It's the slow way of doing it. Get a mentor, okay? Pay for a mentor. I spent on average at least $10,000 a year in personal development, hanging out with mentors, going to conferences, doing all the weird stuff. At one point in time, I couldn't afford to spend $10,000. $100 a month for a mentorship was a lot for me, but I got better and I started making more investments one of the best investments you can make is in yourself. And I'm going to give you this quote, and, I, and I'll, I'll close with this unless, unless Nick has more questions for me. If you pour your wallet into your mind, your mind will fill your wallet. Okay, let me give it to you again. If you pour your wallet into your mind, your mind will fill your wallet. That's why we read so much because it expands our mind. It gives us creative ideas. It allows us to think outside the box. And when we see other people doing things, we're thinking, huh, well, I can do that. All I got to do is learn. I might not know it right now, but I can learn. Get in the habit of reading books. Start with five pages a day if you can't do 10. You'd be surprised at how many books you'll go through. Get an audio book. Stop listening to music, right? I, man, I, I've, I've made several five to seven to eight hour drives and no music was played in my car. It, me and my thoughts, thinking through my thoughts. We got to teach you guys how to think, first of all. <laughs> and I, and I, I know that sounds weird, but most of you don't really know how to think. You know how to think in right strategies, right? You use your brain power for stuff that's, that's, that's not really serving you. I was the exact same way. Sometimes I still catch myself doing it and I have to stop or snap and say, hey, change your thought processes. It talks about it in the Bible. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. I need to transform myself by the renewing of our mind. Everything starts with a thought. 
It's in the decision. So the more you learn how to think right, the more you learn how to act right, the more you learn how to get right habits, then habits are God's way of making good automatic in your life. So it's a rhythm that you got to learn. OK, and we'll teach you all that kind of stuff. So, Nick, unless you have more questions, man, back to you. I appreciate the time for sure, guys. But we got a lot to teach you. And we're going to do this over the next, I don't know, four to eight weeks. I don't know how long we're going to be doing these master classes, but get plugged in. OK, mm. Pay the money. it's worth it. It's worth it. Trust me when I tell you it's worth it. 100 jeffrey man like there's just so much knowledge coming out of your mouth at such a fast pace it, it is hard to keep up with you but i know i mean i get excited man i talk no, fast this is, good. This, is good. this is good this is good shit this is good shit you know what i'm saying man like and people need to hear this like like what goes up must come down observe the masses and do the opposite mostly we're all mostly tied to that negative when something drops when we lose a percentage we're like, oh man, I'm now tired of that negative. I feel emotionally attached, and now I don't want to reinvest. I don't want to put more money in. That was just like, that's a, that's a, that's an eye opener there on what you said. And you know, with inflation and in, infinite banking, and you know, infinite banking is that concept. If you guys want to learn more about the infinite banking concept, hashtag infinite banking in the comments, guys. Uh, if you guys uh, hashtag that, I will put you guys in uh, personal reach with Jeffrey, and he can help you. Uh, take those first initial steps to get in control and get in front of that. Uh, I guess uh, get in level, get in that leverage position, and uh, and obviously be in control and have uh, your money safe with the infinite uh, banking concept. So, uh, Jeff, I know we're going to come back to you. We're going to come back to you, brothers. Don't go anywhere. We still got some more things. I know you want to uh, spill the beans. How, how long? How much? How much time you got? Uh, I got less than 15 minutes, guys. I got All an right. appointment. Yeah. Uh, All right. uh, I, 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 I think it was 15 minutes then. 15 minutes I got you. All right. I'm going to bring on the next speaker, and then I'm going to get you to say uh, your little, uh, you know, talk, and then we'll close you off in around uh, the last, in the next 10 minutes. Then you go and go, and then we'll bring, uh, we got that. Anyway, awesome, Jim. I appreciate you, bro. Let's go uh, to the next speaker, guys. Mr. Caleb Bolt. Caleb, old brother, how we doing? Uh, how we doing, man? Doing amazing. Thanks for thanks for having me again on. Yeah, uh, Fantastic. Before you get speaking with that gorgeous uh, Tarzan here of yours, Caleb. All right, <laughs> hey, thanks, baby. Uh, I just want to introduce you to uh, everyone because, hey, guys, if you guys don't know who uh, Caleb Alt is, he's also from Arkansas Little Rock. He is a business owner. He is a millionaire. He uh, has. Uh, he is an entrepreneur of all sorts and he has a brain that most people may not have or may have not uh you know been born with and this guy has definitely been born with a, a mindset that many have to adopt and so i wanted to bring caleb on i know you met him on the last virtual coffee i know you've seen him on other videos and stuff like that but I wanted him to come and talk to you about business ownership. And I wanted you, I wanted him to share, uh, you know, why it is so important to be in business for yourself. You know, if you have a job still, you're still an employee. That's okay. That's still cool. But also having your own business on top of that, as Jeff said, you can just save a bunch of money on the tax write-offs, right? And being in business for yourself. So if you aren't in business for yourself, definitely tune in right now. Take notes. If you are in business for yourself, or just, just add this to your knowledge bank account and think about what's another business I can start today and how can I leverage and do all this together, guys. So uh, Kayla, man, take it away. Share us your expertise uh, on business and Thanks. You know, all that cool stuff, man. I appreciate it. Thanks, you. Nick. Man, Jeff was incredible. Dropped yeah. so much wisdom and knowledge and had so much advice to give. Guys, uh, it's going to be tough to follow all that. Um, no, but yeah, Jeff Jeff is definitely well-versed in the financial uh, arena and uh, definitely want to listen to Infinite banking is an amazing system and an amazing uh, um, tool that the rich and wealthy use to, to stay rich and wealthy. So business ownership, guys, uh, I would highly encourage anyone and everyone to get into business for themselves. Again, there's a lot of advantages. It, 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 it can be stressful at times. It can be a lot of work. Uh, it's not easy. Everybody wants to have 
the uh, glitz and the glamour and the beach life and the free freedom to travel. And um, but a lot of times you got to put in the work before you can go and enjoy um, the fruits of your labor. And a lot of times I have a quote, you know, that I put it, if you do what's, what's uh, easy, life will be hard. If you do what is hard, life will be easy. So mm. you do the hard thing first and it will free up the rest of your time and make life a lot easier. Just like I'm big into fitness and working out. I run, I uh, bike, I cycle, I hit the gym, I hit the weights occasionally. Um, and creating good habits with health and wellness and mindset and it's not easy to continue to push yourself to the next level but the more you do it the easier it gets um and then you get to enjoy you know a healthy lifestyle a lot of energy and then your productivity just skyrockets because you have extra you're not as your mind isn't as clouded you're not as lethargic you have energy to give back and to give to um, to people. And that's really how you're able to receive more. And uh, that's one thing I would want to talk about is something I just kind of revolutionary uh, mindset is, is something I've struggled with is receiving. And uh, maybe I don't feel like I deserve it or not sure why, but Giving and receiving is a great law, universal law that is available to the, to us in the universe. And so recently I've been trying to receive more, not to receive, but so that I can give more. And talking about starting a business or becoming your own boss or, um, you know, you got to find out what is your why. And, you know, I don't I don't recommend anyone leaving their quitting their job unless they're confident in their abilities and confident in their product or service that they're offering a proven concept that they know works or that they know there's a marketplace for, it, or they know that there's, you know, a, um, um, a desire for their product or service. If nobody wants your product or service and nobody's interested in getting, you know, baskets that were weaved underwater, you know, that, nobody wants to buy that <laughs> right now but if everyone wants to buy it sure jump in like masks is a great great example you know nobody would have thought that they would start a business making masks oh you know what? i'm gonna go make masks but right now i mean if you started back in in march making masks and uh threw them up online and said hey we got the best masks here you could have probably made a decent amount of money just marketing to people who wanted masks because it's such a hot topic right now so that's what we call trends and you're capturing trends in the marketplace and you got to get ahead of the trends or see what the trends are yes and then get on the forefront of those and jump in before it's been um what do you call it um uh, saturated and then you have a saturated market and then a saturated market isn't a bad thing either because then you start taking market share from other companies so what can you do different what can you do better than a competitor that already owns that market I mean, there's a lot of great examples in this in this new era with like Bombas socks, Allbirds. You know, these are great examples of companies who started from nothing and blew up overnight because they were offering a better product or service or better value or added more value. Or maybe they had less impact, uh, carbon impact because, you know, global warming is an issue or environmental change is an issue. Let's you know, they're marketing to that customer and they're relating to their customer they're relating to their audience they know who their audience is so that's a very important thing when you're starting businesses who is your audience mm. who are you talking to what is your message do they relate to that message is there uh, you know how can your product or service help somebody else nobody cares really what you have or what you're doing they want to know how it's going to benefit them. They want to know how you're going to make them more money. They want to know how they're going to win by using your product or service. It's not about, they don't really, really care about your product. Like, how is this going to help me? You know, I love Bomba socks. I, I, I think they're one of the best socks. <laughs> not that this is a, an ad at all. I don't get paid at all from Bombas, but they're great socks. And all you have to do is put on a pair of Bombas and you're like, damn, I'm never buying a pair of Hanes ever again. 
because it's a completely different value, completely different quality. And they are expensive, but people will spend, they're probably two times, three times as expensive as a pair of Hane socks, but you get what you pay for. They last twice as long. They're more comfortable. They're, you know, there's a lot of other, other things. So look at a marketplace that you may be currently in or you're looking at and look how you can improve on that product or service and make mm -hmm. it better and then offer that product. And again, creating good. Sorry, Kyle, okay, man. I just look, we're on the subject, and I know you're gonna keep moving forward because I know that's the entrepreneur in you, the bro. Like, I, I guess, like, you know, competitive market. Let's talk about competitive market just for a second because people don't think they can win in a competitive market because it's it's saturated, or they think it's saturated, right? Really, it's a, I think it's saturated more than it is saturated, right? So, you know, when it comes to competing with other companies or businesses in that market if it's travel or lawn care or finances or network marketing or internet marketing or a course of some sort or whatever it is like what would you say the best strategy what would you what would you uh what would you what would you tell the person that's in a saturated market or if they think they're in a saturated market right now how can they look different how can they be unique how can they stand out from the crowd and you did some really good points there on your audience and what is your message and all that sort of stuff but what do you think what can you sort of give to everyone well, that's, in? that's a great question because you know there's a great book seth godin wrote is uh it's called purple cow so everybody sees purple cow, cow, cow. Yeah. they're either black with white spots or they're white with black spots right they're all cows you would drive by but when you drive by and you see a purple cow, that grabs your attention. So it, you don't have to recreate the cow. It, you just paint it purple. You know, what separates you from your competition? How can you, you just got to ask yourself what makes you different. And a lot of times the product and service, there's so many products and services out there, but it's not really about sometimes the product and service. The, how you build a brand is by telling stories. People relate to stories. So what story can you tell your audience mm. to get them to relate, relatability? I've never read that book. What would Rockefeller do? I, I don't know. I don't know about that book. I'm going to have to write that down and read that one. I've just written it down. i got to get it. <laughs> Gunderson. All right. Garrett Gunderson. Is that the cow book? No. No. no, no, no. Rockefeller did. So, oh, good to, good to. so Rockefeller would always go into a marketplace and offer the competition a fair value for their business and either he acquired them and if they, they failed to agree with his terms, then he said, okay, well, we're just gonna come in and crush you. It's the game, a simple game of Monopoly. He would lower the cost of goods sold to where the com competition couldn't compete with them on the pricing because they would go out of business, but he had deep enough pockets to sustain losses long enough to put companies out of business and then he would gain the market share and then raise prices after the comp com competitors were gone. So there's mm -hmm. a lot of options there, you know, if you have money. If you have no money, then you have to get creative. And it's all about telling your story. And people relate to stories. So are you relatable? Do you have a product or service that you can that other people can relate with? Did it help you in some way? Did it change your life? Um, how has how have you benefited from it? Tell your story because people relate to stories and stories stick. Um, products and services really don't, and brands are built around stories. So if you have a, an idea or a, a product or service that you're wanting to launch, tell your story and how can you make that story relatable to your audience? I guess that would be the biggest thing. And then what's different? What makes you a purple cow in a saturated market? And uh, because people do, and here's another thing is there's a lot of charitable organizations out there and businesses for purpose businesses make a bigger impact and people will like to purchase from companies that make them feel good that they're making a difference or that they're giving back. So maybe there's a, a charitable cause that is relatable to your product or service that you could offer to separate you from a, from a competing, a competing business. You know, mm -hmm. that every, every time you purchase a pair of socks from Bombas, guess what? They donate a pair to somebody in need. Tom's blew up the market with their shoes and their strategy of, hey, every single time you buy a pair of shoes from us, we're gonna give a pair away. Well, that makes me wanna go buy a pair of shoes and pay extra. Like I know those shoes probably cost $10, I buy them at, at the dollar store, but they're gonna give another pair away. 
and that's amazing. And they actually, it was actually had a neg such a big impact that it had a negative impact on those local uh, communities because nobody was having to buy shoes in those local communities anymore because everybody had free shoes. So sometimes good, too much good could <laughs> could end up being bad in a in certain in certain areas. But um, so think about what you can do to add a competitive advantage, whether it's a charitable cause, whether it's uh, a great story, how can you be relatable? So um, does that help? Yeah, that's good, man. That's really good. That's really good. That's uh, I know uh, Jeffrey, you got to go in a minute, bro, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. Like, let's, right on uh, ahead. Check yeah. Out to let them know I'm a couple minutes behind. All right. All right. Caleb, I'm going to come, we're going to come back to you, man. That, that's a, uh, that's fantastic. I appreciate everything you just said there. You know, the law of giving and receiving capturing trends in the marketplace. Like if you ask yourself now, guys, who you're listening in, who like, who is your audience? Who are the people you are speaking to? Who are the ones you're actually wanting to speak to? Right. What is your message? You know, what are the stories that you're sharing with people? Because you know that stories sell, facts tell, facts tell, stories sell. And, mm -hmm. you know, really ask the question, write this down, guys, on paper. Is make it a headline on your, on your piece of paper now. What's unique about you? Because regardless of what market you're in or what type of business model you're in or whatever, you know, you're, you're going to be standing out like the purple cow. Because if you're standing out like a purple cow over the white cow, the brown cow, the black cow, with the white spots, brown spots, black spots, yeah, the purple cow is going to win because you're purple, right? <laughs> so here, here's another great, great thing to add to that. And uh, I know you want to touch on some social media aspects and how to monetize your social media. And so people buy from people. People don't want to buy from a company. So it's very important if you're trying to try to launch a company is to also like focus on building your personal brand and who are you and what's your message and what's your story and what is you, what are you about? Because people buy from people. People don't buy yeah. from companies. So focus on if you're trying is gain credibility, build clout in the marketplace, you know, relate and build your network. Um, see what you can do to build your personal brand. Why should somebody listen to you? Why should they come to you for advice? You know, why? Why? You know, those are those are some reasons, questions that you can ask yourself. Um, and then how do you add value to other people? What can you do to add more value um, and give and give back? Right. So that's why I'm on here today, just to, to share maybe some information to help somebody to give back. Yeah, man. Right. Fantastic. I love it. Thank you, Caleb. Jeff, yes, um, sir. I know you got some uh, an awesome offer to share with everyone right now who's watching live from your group. Um, or from my group or the fan page or on YouTube right now. Um, you know, you want to share the goodies, man? You want to share the goodies before you head off and, you know, where people yeah, can I'll find you? Let me try to do it real quick. What would you say? Oh, no, no, no. Go, go ahead. Oh, okay, okay. Do you want to just share with uh, everyone who's listening in uh, your offer and how you can help them with wealth, infinite banking, a blueprint, some strategies, some starting steps on – their financial journey to really getting in control of their income, their, their savings, their, their money, their cash flow, all that cool stuff. Okay, perfect, right? So, guys, I got a lot of free books I want to I want to be able to send you guys because I want you to start reading, right? I, want, I don't want you to think this is some crazy concept that this guy named Jeff from Arkansas in the backwoods and start, you know, I do wear shoes, by the way. Uh, I have some on by now. I know that's the whole thing when it comes to Arkansas. Um, but I want to give you guys some free resources, right? I'm going to give you guys something free. So what we're going to do is create a mastermind group, and I'm probably going to create a separate uh, Facebook group. All right. So to be in this group, um, it's th there's some homework I want you to do because I want to build a wealth community around all this. And these guys are going to be regulars in there contributing to it because I want you to understand what Nick knows, what Caleb knows, what I know. Because when you start to put this stuff together, there's a blueprint and a system that I've been brainstorming for a while. And it's time to go ahead and launch it because we're in that time frame where it's critically important for you to start br branching outside of just your only source of income. If all you have is a job, I'm trying to alleviate that. Nothing against people who have a job, right? Because you need to have income. But I want you to understand the power and the importance of multiple sources of income. So um, to be in this group, literally the first group that I came in like this, 
I spent, uh, it was $97 a month. The second group I got in was $167 a month. And then it started going up from there. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so all right, for the first 10 people that, 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 that hop on there and send me a message, literally, I'm going to start to create this group. You get in the group for 47 bucks. Okay. That's going to run for the first 10 people. And it's going to go up after that. Now I'll cap it out at 97 to be in the group. Okay. But again, I'm going to be bringing a lot of tips and things like that. And I'm also going to give you some of my free resources. Like I did a five day masterclass on the mindset called thoughts in motion, because once I teach you guys how to start to think differently, that's when you get different results. But there's a rhythm to thinking that if you have not learned it, you're going to be repeating the exact same mistakes because you're going you're gonna to be stuck in the loop. You don't even realize it, right? That's why you can't try to do this stuff by yourself. Let me give you guys the pro tip. Get a mentor. I guarantee everybody on this call has and has like has, has had a mentor in the past, have one right now, everything. Caleb and I, we're mentored by Grant Cardone, one of the craziest business minds, one of the number one trending people over the last couple of years. We actually hung out in Vegas at a conference. Nick and I have been to conferences over the last six years together, being mentored by people who are making six, seven, eight figures, right? And again, I don't say that to boast and brag because it's not just about the money, but I want you to have the choice, right? Uh, Zig Ziglar says money is not the not the most important thing, but it's up there pretty close to oxygen, right? You need it. But I want you to learn how to make money work for you and not always be a slave to money. So if you don't understand what the cash flow quadrant is, that's what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you my personal cash flow quadrant and the sources of income I have and in which quadrant and why I do that, right? There's a method to the madness. OK, because I don't want to have to work for money. So I need to learn how to do business and have a systems in place. And I need to learn how to invest to make my money work for me. So we're going to teach you all that kind of stuff in the master class uh, and inside the group. So make sure you hop in there. First 10 people get in for 47. It goes to 97 dollars after that. And that's just in the group. They're going to be additional plans and things like that that I'm going to be doing, because if you want one on one coaching, it's going to cost you more because it's more of my time that's dedicated to you. So one thing we're all in a group and I can push out content to the whole group. But when you want to sit down with me, that's a whole different ball game because I have invested a lot of myself and I can download as much as I can into you as much as you can handle. But it will be drinking like a fire hydrant. It will be like that. Trust me when I tell you that, because there's so much stuff that we've learned. And if we can give it to you and you can implement it, knowledge only becomes power when you apply it. If you can implement it, your life will change. I guarantee you with 100 percent certainty, your life will be different. Boom. Oh. So Jeff, Jeff, yeah. Jeff uh, there you go. So, guys, if you want, uh, you want to be a part of Jeff's mastermind, his group. You want to be a part of that? The first ten people, right, Jeff? It comes in at four, uh, they'll get it for forty-seven dollars, right? And forty-seven dollars. The first ten people, they'll get it for ninety-seven. Is that right? Right. Cool, cool. So hashtag wealth with Jeff uh, in the comments, guys, and then I'm gonna plug you guys in with a private chat with Jeff. So the first ten people can get in for forty-seven bucks. After that, it's ninety-seven dollars. That's one time, Jeff, or monthly. Um, no, that's gonna be that's gonna be monthly. Again, you can hop out whenever you want to if you feel like you've gotten enough. But guys, I'm gonna be bringing people in like Caleb, like Nick, other people that I've networked with, whether it's an athlete uh, or anybody who understands money, who's shaking and moving. I want to bring them in the group because I want you to learn from them. So my goal is to have them giving you as much content as possible so you guys can start to implement this. Because I remember my first group, they were talking infinite banking, and I'm like, hey, I can do that kind of stuff. And some of these people weren't even advisors. They were just talking about the concept, right? Then they were bringing other people in talking about wealth. And I'm like, oh, that's great. But it yeah. came a problem. People said, hey, hey, Mike, we love these strategies, but we don't have the extra money to be able to do some of this stuff. We can't take advantage of oil. We're not an accredited investor. Well, how do you become that? We're going to teach you guys how to make money as well, how to make mm -hmm. money online. We got the platforms to do it. You just got to start plugging into it. and start. You have to start investing in yourself in your own knowledge just not in your 401k you pour your wallet into your mind your mind will fill your wallet trust me that's why we can charge for this because we have the knowledge this is right. our mind filling our wallet now boom boom so guys if you're coming in from jeff's group private message jeff uh guys and hashtag wealth with jeff in the comments if you guys are coming in from my group or my fan page on youtube send me a private message that you are interested 
and I will connect you personally with Jeff so you get the best, you know, upfront service you can get in that top 10 and get for 47 bucks. Again, first 10 people, 47 a month. And then anyone after that, it's 97 a month and there's no contract. Uh, there's no hidden fees or anything. It's $47, $97 a month. So, Jeff, I know you go rock. So, thank you so much, brother. I appreciate you. And again, again, guys, if you guys want that health, that health, that wealth mastery, you want to take your wealth, your finances, your cash flow, your income, your savings. You want to take, you want to get leverage. You want to be in control of your money. Then definitely get in touch with me or Jeff. Uh, and then we'll connect you with Jeff personally so you guys can get started as soon as possible. So, Jeff, thank you so much, brother. And I got people oh, go. with me that are saying they're interested. Let's go. Let's get it. And, uh, Jeff, you go, Rocket Man. I know you got an appointment. And uh, I'll take it away with Caleb. Appreciate you, brother. All right, thank you guys. All right, man. Thank Appreciate you. Hey, I'm going to add one thing to that. If you know, if you guys are talking about trying to save more and, and uh, you, you don't know how you can save more, the only way you save more is by making more. So you make more money to outweigh your expenses and then you have more left over allows you to save more. So if you want to save 50% of your income, you're like, Oh, I only make four grand. It's $2,000. IRS takes their cut. You know, I can't live on a thousand dollars a month. Well, you gotta, you know, if you want to save more, you gotta make more. So if you made 10 grand, you could probably save five because you know, you have more to save. And then your expenses, you just got to control your expenses and not spend more as you make more. A lot of people have that problem. They start making more money. They get a new job. They're like, oh, if I got this raise, I'm going to make more money. And uh, guess what happens? They spend more money. They're, everybody always spends 10% more than they make. Almost mm -hmm. on a national average, they spend 10% more than they make. So they got to go make more and they don't save any because they're always overspending. So I would control your expenses. Don't live above your means. Live like no one else. So eventually you can live <laughs> like, don't live like everyone else. Right. So that way you can live like no one else eventually. So. Boom, boom. All right, Caleb, can I know, uh, bro, I know you're all that. You've got something you want to offer as well. I know how yeah, hey, you say anything. Can I know, uh, guys, uh, with, uh, some of our businesses that Caleb and I do together, like recently Caleb made, uh, over, I think near from, you know, near five to $10,000 on an Instagram, on Instagram stories. So if you guys haven't uh, hit up Caleb on Instagram, you can follow him uh, uh, pretty much at Caleb, at Caleb Alt. His IG, his Instagram handle is Caleb Alt. You can search for him on Instagram, follow him. He has around 30,000 followers. So he knows what he's doing when it comes to Instagram. And pretty much guys, he has created a prospecting, and, uh, you know, pretty much a curiosity uh, Instagram stories that have attracted the right people to come to him and ask him what he's doing. How is he making money? What is this about? And he has made close to 10,000 US dollars pretty much in the last month from his Instagram stories, guys. And obviously, this can be duplicated to Facebook. And he wants to, I believe that's what we're talking about today, right, Caleb? Or is there something else? Yeah, right? I just, you know, I... I I started making some money online with Instagram and it, it's a little easier than you thought. It does build, take some time. It takes effort, but I, yeah, I put it, uh, put a like little ebook together right now. It's just quick. This is a pre-order launch pre-launch. If you want uh, to get a copy, you're interested in how to monetize your Instagram stories or how you can make money on Facebook um, and just stories without really paid ads. It was no paid ads. It wasn't paid marketing. It's just building an audience, uh, interacting with the audience, creating good content, documenting what you're doing and uh, monetizing. A lot of people have millions and millions of followers, but they're not monetizing. So what I wrote down and what I what I'm going to share with you guys, again, is just how to monetize your Instagram story and in basically seven easy steps. So seven quick, easy steps, how you can monetize and uh, and start making some money from from social media. So if you're interested in that. Again, I guess DM Nick, you'll have a post up, um, the pre pre-order 1497. You can get your copy for only 1497. I'll probably charge 30 bucks for it later. Once people start making millions of dollars, <laughs> seven, seven, seven easy steps, Caleb. seven easy steps to Facebook, Instagram, uh, stories, let's say stories, easy steps on, uh, IG stories. All right. Um, 
And you're charging how much? Fourteen ninety nine. Fourteen ninety seven, brother. Ninety seven, baby. Like practically free. Oh yeah, yeah. Fourteen ninety nine. Fourteen ninety seven. My bad, man. Just change yes. it. Up here. The uh, right. yeah. Yeah, that's so true. So yeah, I just I posted just a. Uh, it was probably it took took a twenty minute twenty second twenty seconds to post something, and generated over ten thousand dollars in uh, in a single post. So. Hell yeah, man. So guys, if you guys want to get the seven easy steps to creating your Instagram, Facebook stories, like it has for uh, Caleb, who's nearly made $10,000 in the last month from his stories alone. He's going to show you the seven easy steps to follow, to guide you, to create that curiosity, to gain that prospect, to come to you, to ask you what you're doing so that you can share uh, your business, your online business, so you can create an income. And for the seven easy steps, guys, it's only $14.97, guys. So if you're down, hashtag uh, seven easy steps. Uh, if you're coming in from my group, you can send me a message. If you're coming in from Jeff's group, you can send Jeff a message. Uh, you can personally actually message uh, Caleb as well, guys. Make sure you follow Caleb Alt on Instagram. Well, I appreciate it. everything you've said today on business ownership, man. And just last thing, I want to get one more little thing out, uh, out of you, man. I know you're, you're 10x in your day here, and I want to make sure you're 10x in here as well. So, Caleb, oh, because I know you do multiple things, bro. And I'm about to, I know you've got to go. I believe you've got to go. If not, you can stay, man. But I'm about to go into having multiple streams of income, and I'm about to go into residual passive income, and I'm going to be talking about leverage, and I'm going to be talking about an ecosystem that I'm going to be offering to people uh, today. And I know that you're a part of that ecosystem, right? You're already a part of it. I know you made close to $10,000 with it on an Instagram story. Uh, I know you've done some private messages on top of that as well. So, you know, I just want you to, if you could share, um, you know, a little bit about having multiple streams of income and what it has done for you and your wife, and now your baby boy, Aiden, and what it's going to do for you and your future and your family. Just having multiple streams of income, you know, just knowing that you have multiple streams. And, you know, we're in a pandemic right now, and hope to God it doesn't happen again, but it potentially definitely could. Great. And, uh, Great. yeah, man. Great question. So multiple streams of income. So a lot of times people get, get confused on what that means. Some people think, I have to go out and start multiple businesses. I have to have multiple business. You don't have to have multiple businesses um, necessarily. Like you could still have your job and have multiple streams of income. Like first off, I mean, we were talking about owning a business. You know, I think the first step, you know, is you want to be a good employee where you're at and maximize your job's potential and act as if you were the owner of that business. And then and you can probably maximize. I would recommend anything working a job with commissions. I don't like working for hours. I don't like time, training time for dollars. I like something that, that rewards me for my efforts and I get to pay more based on my efforts. So those are things I look for. Um, and if I, if, if I don't, you know, if I'm going to get paid or make or make more money, if I put in more effort, then I am going to, uh, that's something I'm interested in. Not something that I'm just going to say, I'm going to work these hours and trade dollars for time. That That's not something I'm ever interested in. So leverage, um, multiple streams of income. You can, once you save money and start making money, you can then leverage that cash flow or leverage that money to generate more money. And you need to look for other ways that you can monetize products or services. So in my business, you know, we have like mainly two core products and services that we offer to two. So that's two flows of income really right there. But we have multiple, multiple, multiple services that we offer. So you're going to get sign up as a customer and then how do I generate another source of income? Well, I go back to that customer and sell them a different product or service, right? We call it us an upsell or a value ladder. You're going to add more value and, and sell more revenue and generate more revenue from the same people. So that's one, that's another source of income. It's, it's the same customer, but it's more money from another source. You created another product or service. So what can you think of that you maybe you could create or what can you add on to your current business or what can you add in to, to generate more money? So I'm always looking for opportunities. Um, I invest in a lot of different uh, potential businesses, uh, you know, stock markets, um, cryptocurrency. Um, you know, I like 
I like things that I can monetize. I rent my house out on Airbnb. I'm looking, getting into more real estate. You know, I'm always looking for ways that you can, that I can get my money to work for me. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's how I guess you can create multiple streams of income. Um, and it's very important because you just don't want to rely on one source all the time. It doesn't have to be another business completely, but it could be another vehicle. And really a product or service is a vehicle. And if you pick the right vehicle and you start start getting in there or using that vehicle, you it can take you to different places. Um, you don't have to have one vehicle. Think of it as multiple vehicles. I like that. You know, I've never had a motorcycle. My wife won't let me have a motorcycle, but I would love to have a motorcycle. That's a great vehicle, but it's not practical. Like if I wanted to go on a family vacation, so I need another vehicle to go on a family vacation. And then, you know, I want to go do a project on my yard and, and, or I want to do some drywall or something. Well, I don't, my vehicle isn't set up to haul drywall. So I need another vehicle, a truck, because it's more practical for what I'm using it for. Well, I want to go off-roading. Well, maybe I need a Jeep, you know, yeah. I want to go cruise the beach in a convertible. I need another vehicle for that. So look at multiple streams of income as different vehicles. So what vehicle do you want to be driving around or what vehicle do you want to get in that's going to take you to where you want to go? And there's multiple, you can have multiple vehicles. So I'm always looking for another vehicle that's going to, that I can put some fuel in that's going to take me where I want to go. Right. 100%. Very important. And, and again, now with this coronavirus, everybody's at home. So what can you do from home? that you can start generating some income. Like what can you sell? What can you create? What kind of products can you create? Is it a digital product? Is it a physical product? Is it a service? Is it coaching and consulting? Is it advertising? Is it copy? Is it email campaigns? Yeah. It, I mean, there's so many things that you could do uh, and add value. So I would just think about, about some things like that. I'm always thinking about what else I can do. What other product or service can I add to benefit my customers? Right. Boo. Yeah, man. I was, uh, uh, I'm trying to find this part where I was, uh, reading yesterday in dot-com secrets. Um, I really want to see the, that, that ponytail you got going on there. Oh yeah. The ponytail? Yeah, dude. That's hot. <laughs> that's hot. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, appreciate it, man. <laughs> I'm going to get you on, man. Cause I know you could definitely do it. You know, yeah, get that bike yeah. look, you're kind of next year with us next time. All right. That's it. But hey, Caleb, man, I appreciate everything that you've said on today's call. Again, people are going to reach out. They're going to be, we're actually going to be doing this as a watch party again tonight. So people that didn't uh, actually get to watch in live today, they can actually watch in live this evening on a watch party. We'll get some more engagement and people will be able to connect. So I'm going to hit you up when I got people uh, messaging me. I got, I already had one, one or two people message me saying they're interested in your seven easy steps for fourteen dollars and ninety-seven cents. That's a uh, for the amount of value that you're going to give in those seven easy steps and the money that you've already created. So we already know it works and it's converted, right? For fourteen bucks, fifteen bucks, it's no brainer, bro. No brainer. So. Right, thank you uh, for coming on, talking about business ownership, and now touching on multiple streams of income. You're more than welcome to stay on, bro. If you need to go, uh, you know, get going and enjoy your day, and I'll talk to you a little bit later on. But I'm going to get into uh, thanks, Nick. Thanks for having uh, me, brother. Thank you, man. All right, bro. Boom. All right, guys. So here we come back. So, guys, I want to talk to you now about uh, an ecosystem. Okay, an ecosystem, and that's coming down to uh, multiple streams of income. All right, of income. I'm just going to write the banner up here so you guys can see that. Okay, I was just trying to find a part uh, with uh, .com secrets here, guys. So, guys, in the in the comments, uh, you'll see a link at the Bitly link, and in the description of the live, you'll see the link to get this book, .com secrets by Russell Brunson. Seven uh, to cover the seven dollar free uh, the shipping. Okay, and I'm going to read the quick little uh, back of the book. It is super full of, I've already read it once, so I've already got all my highlighted uh, pages and stuff. I'm just going to go reread it now because I know there's more value and more information that I didn't take in most likely on the first time. You know, you're just like, oh, man, I didn't get all of that. I need to go read it again. So that's what I'm doing right now. And so uh, pretty much, uh, you know, when it comes to having more streams of income, when I, talk to, when I, when I look at business, I want it to be evergreen. What does evergreen mean? It means it can be automated. 
And you know that, you know, while being at home, while the pandemic's been going on, you know, we're starting to think more digital online. All right, how can you leverage your time? And I'm really, I want to know, can this business serve me and help me live my lifestyle better, bigger, louder, right? And can I actually live my life without being there at this business? So I really look at, you know, network marketing, internet marketing, affiliate marketing, a whole lot of different type of streams of income that can bring in leverage and residual income. And this book is purely about evergreen. It says, number one, everything I show you in this book is evergreen, evergreen, meaning it can be put on automation. Meaning when you put this on automation, when you get to that stage in your business, they can run 24, seven, 365 without you and for you and can create cash flow and residual checks for you every single month. I think that is the smartest thing on earth. All right. When it comes to business. So dot com secrets of the shortcut. Okay. Low, uh, I'm going to read this a little bit uh, right here. So, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. so inside you will find the actual playbook we created after running thousands of tests and perfecting what works online. You now have access to all the processes, funnels, and scripts that we use to scale companies online. Okay. Uh, Tony Robbins, you guys know Tony Robbins. He said this about Russell Brunson. Russell Brunson is a freak uh, online businesses and creating automation and leverage. Russell spent over a decade successfully starting and scaling companies online. This book takes the best of what he's discovered from one th over 1,000 unique split tests, hundreds of millions of visitors, and broken it down to a simple process that any company or business can use to geometrically improve their traffic, conversion, and sales online. Okay, this is a book you guys must get. You can start reading it. You'll get it in your mail in the next week. All you do is click on that link, put your information in, cover the cost of the shipping, and it'll be on your way. There'll be some really cool upsells if you want to grab them too. Let me know when you get this book because I want to help you read it properly. I want to help you apply what I've already been taught in the book and my knowledge already so I can give that to you as a bonus uh, and so I can help you throughout the book and help you actually apply and implement all the things it teaches you in this book, all right? So make sure you go get that book, guys, in the description and in the comments, okay? Let me know when you get it. Send me a message when you get it so I know you got it and I can help you from there, okay? Go to go to the whiteboard behind me and just quickly, I know you can probably see the whiteboard uh, uh, a little bit here, okay? I'm just going to get it up and... I'm going to bring in the table a little bit closer here, guys, so you guys can see. Okay. So just quickly, I'm going to keep this real, keep this real simple and short. Okay. But I've got an ecosystem here, guys, that's been working for my wife and I. It's starting to work for our team. Okay. Ecosystem. Okay. And this ecosystem res revolves around three different businesses. That you can all be a part of today okay okay one is an mlm the second one uh is a funnel software funnel software okay and that has a actual an affiliate marketing part of it where you can make a residual you can make a residual here and then there's another one to do with chat box okay and there's a, an affiliate marketing part of that as well, okay? This is the starting three. This is the starting three. If you guys can see that on the board right there, ecosystem, MLM, funnel software, and affiliate marketing, and uh, chatbots, okay? And what I've created is a system is some, when, when someone gets started with you, when someone gets started with you guys, they uh, come in, they make on the Back to the chatbots and funnel software and you make a triple residual income i've said this on other virtual coffees and other live streams before but i want to offer it to you today and i show you what you get so to actually get a part of this ecosystem okay and you can see i hope you can see this in red so it stands out for you here okay it's going to be 99 dollars one time so if you get started today it's going to be 99 dollars one time okay and then on the MLM side, it's going to be 60 bucks a month. On the funnel 
the funnel software side is going to be sixty-seven dollars a month. Okay, and on the chat box is only going to be ten dollars a month. So for an upfront ninety-nine dollars, and then one hundred twenty-seven, and then at uh, one thirty-seven per month. Okay. You can get started with me, guys. You can get started with Jeff. You can get started with Caleb today for $99 one time and $137 a month. With this, guys, with this ecosystem, uh, you guys might need help with social media. You guys might need help with building an audience. You might need help you know, with influence and building credibility. You might need a mentor. You might need a business party. You might need some direction. You might not know what to say in a message or, or how to talk to people, right? And then when it comes down to business, you need to share your business with people, right? So I'm going to show you and help you. I'm actually going to end this offer here for $99 and $137. And I'm going to just make sure you guys can see that. Okay. You're going to get coaching from my wife and I and the team. You're going to get social media help. All right. We're going to help you build, uh, build an audience. Okay influence okay we're going to help you look like a professional online okay and when it comes to the funnel to the funnel stuff like i don't want you becoming a techie guy unless you really want to become a techie guy and making yourself we actually have the funnel templates and the chatbot sequence so what a chatbot does guys it will do the talking for you do the prospecting for you it will message the person for you and i've created a sequence that works Plus, with a funnel template that can deliver them through to buy the product or service that you're selling. So you're going to get the uh, funnel templates, okay, for being a part of this. Funnel templates, okay. And you're going to get the chatbot templates too, okay. All right. And there's only $99, guys, one time, $137 a month. And you get to start a triple residual income machine today and then i'm going to help you duplicate all of this so when you share it with your contacts organically or via paid advertising or whatever you prefer to do and how you share it with people via social media we're going to get them started on the triple residual income machine and you're going to get paid three times on that one business there's one ecosystem right here so if you are down if you're open guys I'm going to put it up in the comments right now. Uh, Cheryl wants that book. Cheryl, click on the book. The link is in the comments. It's also in the description. Let me know when you got that book. Okay. And uh, Brian, I'll get back to you soon, Brian. I know you sent me a message. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to uh, put it in here now. If you guys aren't part of this ecosystem yet, you guys know if you are. And I know uh, a lot of you are. If you aren't, all you have to do, guys. Okay. All you have to do is I'm going to put it. You'll see in the description uh, of the live streams on YouTube, the fan page, the Facebook groups. All right. It's the bit.ly link travel boss infinity. All you do is click on that link. I've just posted it up in the comments. It's a pinned comment right now. All right. I'll just pin it. Boom. Okay. It's pinned right now. So go to the bit.ly link travel boss infinity. Click on that. Watch the three minute video. Download the free Infinite Success app. It's an automated funnel app. It's so cool. It gives you all the notifications you need to build your business. It does all the work for you. I'm going to show you how to plug people into it. Okay, you're going to also get the app on top of all of this. Uh, then you're going to click the upgrade button, and you're going to uh, pay for the $99. You're going to choose either a wealth pack or a health pack. And in my in my experience, I would totally suggest getting the wealth pack unless you're crazy about health by all means you can go health and go crazy but if you're not so crazy about health and you really want to get your wealth up like jeffrey was talking about get the wealth pack okay spend the what spend the 99 dollars one time all right then i'll get you started with the funnel and the chat bot and you can get started in there guys and then it will only be 137 dollars a month we'll give you all the coaching the support the leadership the training the social media help how to build influence, credibility, uh, you know, uh, an audience, how to be a pro online. You'll get the funnel templates, you'll get the automated app, and you'll get the chatbot sequences. And all we're going to do is then help you build your social media following, build an influence online, and get people to go through 
your machine, your triple residual income ecosystem machine. So if you guys love the sound of that, hashtag ecosystem, hashtag ecosystem in uh, the uh, comments, guys. Ecosystem equals multiple streams of income. I want to help you at least get three. And I'm just being real, guys. Another pandemic shutdown might happen. Somewhere, I know it's happening in Australia right now. I know it's happening somewhere in some other parts of the world too. And I just want you to be prepared. I want you to have income. I want you to have cash flow. And I want you to understand the power of what we're doing here. Okay. If you want to be a part of Jeff's mastermind, all you got to do is hashtag wealth with Jeff in the comments. It'll, the first 10 people get in at 47 bucks. Okay. And after that, it's $97 a month. Okay. If you want to be a part of Caleb's Instagram and Facebook stories, the seven easy steps to creating, uh, getting prospects coming to you. It's only $14.97 one time, one time, guys. All right. And if you want to work with Caleb, okay, hashtag seven easy steps, reach out to me uh, or Jeff, depending which group you're coming in from. And uh, we'll get you started with Caleb. And guys, if you're wanting to become part of the ecosystem and have multiple streams of income, if you want to do it all, you can get to do it all as well. We'll set you up. So, and I'll get if you if you do it all. If you do Jeff, you do Caleb, and you do me, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you something special. I, I'll figure out what to give you something special. We'll give you a, a a triple coaching call where Jeff, Caleb, and I are on a call with you, and we can give you all the ins and outs of what you need to know, what you want to know, and any questions that you may have. So we can get this all started. We'll give you the three of us, us three mentors on a coaching call with you uh, for 30 minutes. And we'll make sure uh, everything's there. If you do all three, that's what you'll get. So if you want to become part of the ecosystem with me, all right, ecosystem, eco, uh, ecosystem. Okay, it's 99, 99, one time, slash, 137 per month okay so i'm gonna add that there right now there you go next ecosystem system no one time 137 uh per month okay and all you gotta do guys is go to uh bitly slash travel boss infinity okay travel boss infinity and i'll put that up in the uh in the uh, comments right now as well. It's in the comments now, guys. So make sure you go do that, guys. Get started with Jeffrey. Get started with Caleb. Get started with me. Or get started with all three of us. We will throw in a 30-minute coaching call where three of us will be on the call with you. And I promise you, we'll get a bunch of value. We'll give you everything you need. And I promise you, you won't take notes on that call. Go get the .com Secrets book, guys. Uh, the link is in the description and in the comments. It's free. It's free, guys. Just cover the cost of the shipping, okay? And if you need anything, let me know when you got the book. Let me know if you need anything else. Uh, keep commenting, comment, and tag your friends in this, guys, so we can get you going as well. Kevin goes, hashtag ecosystem show, hashtag ecosystem. All right, guys, click on that Tribos Affinity link. It will notify me when you click and then reach out to me, and we can get you flowing today. So, guys, I appreciate you. Thanks for hopping on. They hop it on live. We will, we will be doing a watch party on this. So for anyone who missed out, they can tune in live again with us. So uh, have a fantastic Thursday, guys. Enjoy uh, the rest of your day. This is the 21st virtual coffee, Child Boss Lifestyle virtual coffee call meetup. Thanks for Jeff and Caleb for hopping on and adding a ton of value today. I hope you got a lot of value. I know I got a bunch of notes here. So guys, go rock it. Go kill it. Go get it. And let's make it happen, guys. I appreciate all of you. Let's get it, guys. Rock and roll. Let's go. All right, guys. Peace. And have a fantastic day. See you, guys. Travel boss out.